Today we're going to drive Grandpa's Jeep to Gemini Bridges and down the Schaefer Switchbacks. Up Gemini Bridges Road, of course, you pass the Goonie Bird Rock. This is another view from that same spot, looking over to the different direction. Here's our four flat fenders lined up at the Gemini Bridges parking lot. And here I am acting like I know something about Gemini Bridges. Gemini Bridges is pretty neat because there's two spans right together. You can't really see in these pictures, but that crack right there is the split between the two separate bridges. After Gemini Bridges, we headed up the highway towards Canyonlands National Park and the island in the sky. You got to pay to get into the National Park unless you have a pass because that's where the Schaefer switchbacks start out right there inside the gate. Here we are at the top of the Schaefer switchbacks. I'm driving along with one hand and holding my phone with the other trying to get close to the edge without going over to give you a little bit of an idea of what it's like there. The Schaefer Trail is not really any kind of a difficult trail. You could drive your minivan on there probably. The big challenging part is if you have any kind of uh, fear of heights or uh, phobia about getting close to edges, it can be a challenge. But as you'll see in a second, there's a sedan that, or I don't know, grocery getter that comes by. Going the other way in just a minute. It's really spectacular up there though, really worth the drive to get there. Beautiful sky against the red rocks. Whoa, there's that grocery getter. He's looking back at the rest of our group coming along the road. From this shot you can really see how the cliff is undercut below the road and it really is a shelf road or an eyebrow road. Of course, we had to stop to get a few glamour shots. Looking down the canyon towards where we're going. There's Grandpa's Jeep, anxious to get on its way. I took this little video standing right on the cliff's edge, looking straight down towards the switchbacks below. You really can see that it's straight down right there. Just a couple other shots of the switchback from different angles. Here's our guys catching up to me kind of down towards the bottom. This is looking back towards a cliff that we just came down. Who would ever think that you could build a road up that thing? 
Lots of neat things to see at the bottom as well, like this little cliff. Then you get over by the river, which is really beautiful, the Colorado River. Right along in this area somewhere is what they call Thelma and Louise Point, where they drove that car off the cliff in the river at the end of that movie. I'm not sure exactly where it is, but it's right in this area somewhere. I thought this would be more dramatic looking at my shoe down off the cliff, but it wasn't. This is looking back towards the cliff where I hung my shoe over. And a silly selfie looking back the other way. There's a lot of beautiful plants out this spring in Moab. It's greener than I've ever seen it down there in the spring this year. Towards the end of our ride, coming on out, the sky's got a lot more threatening. And I really thought they looked neat against the red rocks. I really love the weather and the different changes and moods that it brings. That's it. Thanks for watching.